Well, this is not an easy um, video to make. It's actually a memorial or an obituary for my father that passed late last year. I did write a blog post about this and I did post um, a memorial or a legacy today, which would be February 9th, 2022. My old man passed uh, over the Thanksgiving holiday weekend last year. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to him, not because I was traveling, but because my dysfunctional family of origin actually prevented me from seeing him. But I really want to talk about the last road trip I took with my old man. We were heading up to uh, my niece's wedding. This is right before the pandemic hit. So my father and I were, were going to, uh, we, did, we did drive up from uh, Broward County up to um, the Panhandle around Destin. I forget the exact little town that it was in. But uh, my niece's, uh, the father of the bride, the niece's father was not invited to the wedding. And so I, I drove my father up there, uh, the grandfather of the bride, if you will, and we made a road trip out of it. And it was really an awesome road trip because tr truth be told, I didn't have a lot of time with my old man growing up. He worked nights and a lot of weekends. And uh, I joined the Navy when I was uh, 17, right out of high school, and spent very little time back home after uh, the Navy. Uh, on and off maybe maybe two years mostly living in the downstairs basement kind of on my own so as I didn't really spend a lot of time at home certainly after the age of 17 basically on my own first in the military in the United States Navy and then doing my own thing after I was honorably discharged this road trip became really an important five or six day ride for my father and I. We turned it into a little mini vacation, catching up on old times, if you will, talking about when we were, you know, just talking about old old times, just a father and a son on, on a car ride. And um, we had a really great time, a lot of really good conversations, talked about uh, the past, life in general. My father talked about his, his estate and his legacy, how he wanted, everything to be done equally forgiven any and all debts to his uh, three adult children which he has helped out somewhat from time to time um, but anyway you know I did all the driving going up there the wedding was awesome It was a beautiful wedding on the beach beautiful February weather in the panhandle my niece looked beautiful the wedding was stunning and as my father and I were the only two uh, Rosen family members obviously my ex-sister-in-law was there um, the mother of the bride was obviously there uh, but she's since remarried a couple times so I don't know what her last name is anymore but my father and I were the only ones there really representing our side of the family and we took pride in that because nobody else bothered to come even though they were invited except the father of the bride so the the wedding was great. The next day, we took a drive out to Mobile, Alabama, went to visit the USS Alabama Battleship uh, Park and Museum, and we got a VIP tour of the Alabama, in part because I was wearing my um, Navy cap from the USS Niagara Falls, and one of the volunteers on the ship actually served on my ship, but uh, prior to my enlistment. Uh, then when we, a couple of days later, after leaving the Panhandle, we drove down to uh, Plant City, Florida, spent a day there with another Navy buddy of mine, uh, went to the train museum, and had a really great ride back to Broward, where my old man was living. Uh, and I knew that would be the last road trip with him, you know, based on his failing health, based on his living, his less than optimal living situation. Uh, more of his choosing than anything else, but that's a whole other issue I won't get into. And obviously once uh, the pandemic hit, which was really about a month later, I really had it, only saw him a couple of times during the pandemic and uh, his health continued to fail and his living conditions, uh, in my opinion, continued to deteriorate and it got to a point where my family of origin 
uh, decided to cut me out. I had no communication with my father from, I would say, about Father's Day up until he died on Thanksgiving weekend. Um, I don't regret anything. I had a great time with my father. I understand that, you know, somebody that's in a weakened and physical uh, state can easily be taken advantage of by, by other people. And I think that is some of what happened. Certainly the conspiracy theories and lies that were fed to him that were unfounded uh, had an impact. And, um, you know, the old man passed on a Sunday. I only found out uh, many hours later, too, too late to actually even go see and say goodbye to the body. Um, and there are several people who are at, who are to blame for a, a purpose, purposeful lack of communication to me about my father. Um, anyway, you know, whatever, however the dust settles, he was my father. I loved him immensely to the end. Everything I ever did for him was in his best interest at that time. Uh, whether people agree with me or not, I really don't give a fuck. Um, so that's kind of that. And um, yeah, so this is really dedicated to my father on his, uh, which would have been his 84th birthday. And it is called The Last Road Trip. And I have my, my truths that need to be told. Uh, my family of origin tried to silence me. Uh, by not having me at his memorial or funeral. I'm not even sure what they did. Nobody told me. Uh, but, you know, his legacy is he has uh, three sons, one of them extremely successful that you're looking at on this video. Uh, grandchildren, great-grandchildren. Um, and, uh, you know, he has that legacy. Whatever my family of origin tries to take away they can't i have my memories particularly the this last road trip was an awesome road trip a lot of really good memories catching up on things uh with my father and nobody ever could take those memories away they could they could take the money which apparently they did uh but it's not about money man you know it's about really living your your life the way you want and not having to, you know, kowtow or bow down to anybody for anything. And always, always doing the right thing. Especially when you know somebody is being taken advantage of. Anyway, that uh, was supposed to be more of an uplifting road trip memorial. And not necessarily a whole um, uh, emotional dump. But that's what it is. So anyway, old man, do love you. I hope wherever you are, you're smoking your pipe, drinking your coffee, and drinking your whiskey.